Okay. All right, page 34, we're looking at question number one. We are asked to solve this. Um, 12n minus 4 equals 3n minus 22. Um, let's go ahead and get all the variables on one side and all the constants on the other. So let's move the small variable first. I like to do that to avoid a possible negative uh, variable here. So I'm going to move this since it has a smaller value than 12. So subtract 3n from both sides. That makes this goes away. 12 minus 3n is 9n minus 4 equals um, what is that, negative 22. So I'm going to add 4 to both sides and I get 2. 9n is equal to negative 18. Divide both sides by n. And I'm running out of room. n equals negative 2. Question number 2, 7b plus 12 equals 5b. Let's move the smaller variable over. 5b minus 5b. Right, when we do that, this goes away. Uh, 2b plus 12 equals 0. Right, You might be wary about moving that b first, that 5b first, but don't be. It just becomes 0. 2b plus 12 equals 0. And then we subtract 12 from both sides. That way, we're left with 2b equals negative 12. Divide both sides by 2. We're left with b equals negative 6. Okay, question number three. Let's go ahead and distribute this first so we can expand this out a little bit. So left-hand side is exactly the same. Uh, after we distribute the three, we get 3x plus 15. So let's move the smaller variable, which is that negative x there. I'm going to add x to both sides. When I do that, this goes away. 35 is equal to 4x plus 15. I'm going to subtract 15 from both sides. And what I'm left with is what? 20 equals 4x. And you should be able to do that in your head, but just in case you're not, divide both sides by the co coefficient of 4, and you should get 5 equals x. Oh, x, not 5. Let me fix that. x. Okay, question number 4. We're uh, told that Emily claims that the solution to the equation 12x minus 2 times 9 plus 7x equals 8x plus 2 uh, is x equals negative 2. Well, sorry, I the way I read that was super confusing. But she shows her steps to justify her solution. Match the correct justification for each step. Step 6 is done for you. Okay, so that one is done for us. So let's see. Going from the given to step 1, it looks like the one thing that's changed here is that they've distributed that 2 to, to get to negative uh, 18 minus 14x. So what is that? The division, I'm sorry, the distributive property. So we're going to say D for that choice. And from step 1 to step 2, it looks like what has changed, let me see. It looks like they've moved stuff around. They moved this, they switched um, this 14 to the, over there and then this uh, 18 to be over there. And um, we didn't really cover that very well in our previous videos, but when you move stuff around like that, that's just called the commutative property because um, just like you commute from work to home, you're moving. So we can do that as long as we keep the signs the same. And then in step three, how do we get to negative 2x? Well, um, it looks like we combined that 12x and that negative 14x. So um, we combine like terms on the left-hand side because those are the only terms you can combine. So I'm going to put a. And then step four, you have negative 18 plus 10x plus 2. How do we get there? How we, so we got rid of that negative 2x on the left-hand side and got moved to the right-hand side. So that we had to add 2x to both sides. That is clearly the addition property of equality. And then from there, it looks like uh, that negative 18 becomes negative 20 by subtracting 2 from both sides, which is the subtraction property of equality. And we already have the uh, answer for step 6, so we're going to stop there. So question number 5 on page 36. We have here, um, we're going to circle one of the properties there. So here's student work, and it looks like they've, they've grouped this together. Um, and it's definitely not the distributive property, and it, it's the associative property because those two associate together. Okay, uh, the next part, we have the student work here, and it looks like what happened was they distributed that 4. to So that negative 4 times x gives you negative 4x, that negative 4 times uh, negative 2 gives you a positive 8. That's clearly the distributive property. Uh, the next box there, we have the student work. Uh, and it looks like, if I had to guess, they distributed that 2, right? And uh, again, distributed property. Uh, and lastly, in the next box, um, we are just regrouping those. So 
7 times 1 half times 6 and uh, you can group that first half together or the first two terms together or the second terms together um, doesn't really matter since you're multiplying but anyway that's not the distributive property that is the associative property all right, here we are told Eric claims the solution to the equation 10x minus 5 times x plus 2 equals negative 9x minus 3, where x is, the solution to is uh, x equals negative 0 0.5, and we have all these steps there. And so we're asked to um, select three correct justifications for the given steps. Uh, one is done for us. Okay, well, let's take a look. Step one, how do, how do we get there? Well, it looks like clearly going from the given to step one they did distribute that and they did did distribute it correctly so um, that's a definite thing step two they've already crossed off so let's jump to step three um, how do they get to step three from step um, let me see so from step three to step four I, I think that's what we're looking for isn't it um, no sorry how do they get from step two to step three. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, well, clearly they moved the the nine x over to the other side to get fourteen x. So they added. Well, that's not the addition property to call. It's the subtraction. So it's not step three. So let's take a look at step four. So from step three to step four, what do they do? Well, we added ten to both sides. Right. Oops, that's my terrible notes there, they disregard that. We added 10 to both sides to get to step 4. So step 4 really should be addition property of equality. But mm, we're saying commutative, so that's not it. And lastly, from step 4 to step 5, we divided 14 to both sides to get 0 0.5. And sure enough, step 5 is the division property of equality, so we're going to go with that. And we have the three correct justifications. Question number two, Zach has earned $200 and earns $20 every week walking his neighbor's dog. I'm going to stop reading the context for you, um, but we are asked to select two correct justifications for the given steps. So let's take a look. From the given to step one, what happens here? Well, it looks like um, it looks like we're moving this, this 100 over. So we had to add 100 to both sides to get to step one. So yes, addition property of equality looks like the correct choice there. From step one to step two, what do we do? Well... It looks like they subtracted 20, 20 W from both sides to get to 5 W. Um, and so that would be the subtraction property equality, which is that. And so presumably step 3 should not be, or you know what, step 3 is a division property of equality too. Um, very curious. Okay, well, all three works. At least I think they work. Uh, if I'm wrong, I will note that uh, on the screen there. Yoga Express charges a $30 membership fee and a $25 membership fee. Beginner's Yoga. Okay, so let's keep this straight. Yoga Express is one company. Beginner's Yoga, I'm just going to write B Yoga. Uh, charges $80. Oh, so anyway. Yoga Express charges a $30 membership fee that does not change, plus a $25 a month uh, fee. Beginner's Yoga charges an $80, so it's higher, but their monthly fee is lower, 15M. How many months will the total be the same? So here's the expression we're going to write. We're gonna, let me move these together, actually, through the uh, magic of, of what I can do here. Um, so we want to know when these are equal. So I'm going to solve this equation here and find when Yoga Express is equal to uh, beginner's yoga in terms of price. So let's move the smaller one. I'm going to subtract 15M from both sides. And I'm going to simultaneously, don't do this. I'm just doing it because I can and I'm running out of space. But uh, I'm, I'm going to move these over here. So all my variables are on one side and my constants are on the other side. 25 minus 15 is 10M equal to since those goes away go away and 80 minus 30 is 50 I'm gonna divide both sides by 10 and I'm left with M equals 5 so the answer is um, 
both yoga clubs will be at the same amount or amount of money paid after five months. But that's not the only answer. What, what will that amount be? Well, we'll just plug it into one of them. Let's just plug it into, uh, let's plug it into, into beginner's yoga, right? So we're going to plug in five for M. So when we do that, I'm going to do that off the side here. 80 plus 15 times five is that? And then so 80 plus 15 times five is what, 75? I think it's 75 and when we add it together we get 155 so um, the amount of money is that it gets paid in at both places after five months is 155 dollars